Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Back to see ya. I got a couple cards for you. Well, a few cards for you. I'm out of breath. I've been running a race today. So, I'd like to show you what I've done. So I made this slimline card and I used Dollar Tree stickers. Yes, you can make a pretty card using Dollar Tree stickers. <laughs> and I did. I used some pretty paper that I got from Hobby Lobby in a kit. I don't remember which kit it was now off the top of my head. But this is the inside of it. And um, this is a Surprise Creation Slimline die. This is their scalloped edge die set. And I used the basic, the KS Craft Basic nesting set, uh, nesting die set, slimline set. And I also used the, um, the Surprise Creation scalloped edge as well. I like to use both both sides, both kinds, inter intermingle them. And then I also used um, the Dollar Tree stickers. And I used the whole pack just about. And then I used a sticker. This one's grateful. This came from a Maggie Holmes pack. And um, worked just fine with it. And I love how it turned out. So why not? And then I made a little boo-boo down here, but I wasn't even able to cover it completely up. So, oh well. But I tried to with my little sticker there. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. So, I made that one. And then, um, from the DIY Art Bin and from the Max Art Life Store. I love their dies. They're paper piecing dies. And I have so much fun. So, I got these two sets here. They come together. Actually, you you have to order the dies separately. But, um, there's four of them in the set. And I put two on a tag, and I put two on a card. Now, this tag set is great. And it comes from the KLJUYP store. And it's actually much longer. I cropped it because I wanted the layering die, the layering tag, to fit the hole on the big die. So I had to cut the big one off at the bottom. And, but these dies came from the Max, Max Life Art, Max Art Life Store, or the DIY Art Bin. I gotta check and see which one. It's one of those two. And they were very easy to put together. You do have to have a little patience. I did have to do some coloring on her hair. And the rest of it I did paper piecing. And But I have the patience for it, so it doesn't bother me a bit. And I had a lot of fun creating these. So we have the little girl and we have the snowman guy. And then we have the gingerbread girl and the reindeer guy. Reindeer girl. They're all girls, I guess. So I made one into a card and one into a tag, and I think they're adorable. So that's how they look. Then I put together this one, and this is a little gingerbread in the stocking, and it says Mary, and it's got a little tree there, and I'm going to cut out in gold foil Christmas and put it this way, diagonally, or up vertically, I mean. So, but I haven't done that yet obviously and it's just right on the inside I'll put a little white postage stamp square cut out so you have a place to write on it and then I cut out this little gingerbread girl I just haven't put her on a card yet but isn't she adorable she was super easy to put together a little paper piecing a little gel pen white gel pen and the eyes to give her a little bit of light and a little bit of white on the nose Give it a little, a little sparkle there. Super, super cute. <laughs> Love her. Then I made a tag and I put this little penguin on. He's super fun and super easy All also. Very, very easy to do. And I put some snow drops. I put some white spots, white gel pen spots on the, on the tag for snow. And then some of them I highlighted with my um, st uh, stickles, 
So it looked like snow, and I put some on top of his hat and on his face and his body. So it looked like he was getting snowed on. And I think that's really cute. And then I did my little scare, scarecrow that I got at Thanksgiving that I haven't had a chance to put together, but I finally did. And he was really easy to do as well. And I put a little gel, uh, my white gel pen, a little dotted his eyes and gave him some eyelashes with the black highlighter, fine, fine liner. And rosied his cheeks and I put the word bless there. Because it is, after all, a Thanksgiving card and the inside's like that. Tied it in. And then last but not least, I finally put together my Raggedy Ann and Andy card. And they came out so cute, I think. And I highlighted their eyes as well. Gave them their little rosy cheeks and their mouths. And, and that's how that came out. And I'll probably do this for a child's birthday or something like that. I'll, in, I'll do the inside as well. So that is my project share for you. And um, that's what I have to share for you today. All right, guys. Love you. Have a great day. And all of you guys that back there that's having the bad weather, I'm praying for you. And just praying that God will bring your give you some good weather and that you guys will get your your heat on and you know just make sure that you get your needs met all right love you guys bye bye